Daniel Jacob was born in Erode and uh, Preeti Daniel was born in Chennai. Daniel works as the vice president at EC Group Data Software Company, well, Private Limited, and Preeti works as group HR manager at Rua Tech Solutions Private Limited. Preeti and Daniel serve the community through their organization, You Are Loved. It is a voluntary, volunteer-driven organization that works towards empowering communities through education, employment, and enlightenment. Let's put our hands and welcome this amazing couple. A quick question. How many social workers do we have here? Wow. Can we give a round of applause to them? Thank you. God has kept many lights in us. One such light is love, the most powerful and the greatest of all. And the good news is that He has kept this light of love in each and every one of us. My mother-in-law, Mrs. Indumadi, who later became Esther, hailed from a very staunch background from another faith. She had a kind of sickness. She went to all kinds of doctors, she went to every temple, but she never got healed or delivered. One day she decided that as a last resort, why not we go to a church to be prayed? Because she has tried everything under the sun. On a Sunday evening, afternoon, she along with her mom went to a church in a nearby colony. And the pastor, when they saw them both, he frantically came out and asked what exactly do they want from them? Because the community from which these two women came has been a lot of problems to the Christians there. My mother-in-law's mom told them that they have come here to be prayed for a daughter who is suffering from a sickness. The pastor immediately went inside, told the congregation that there is a young woman out here standing, that she wants prayers. The entire congregation agreed, knelt down, and in one accord cried out to the Lord, asking for healing and sickness. Uh, deliverance. This act of outpouring love from an unknown crowd deeply moved my mother-in-law because she has never found this kind of love from any of her family members or any of her siblings who know the intricacies of her sickness. This act of outpouring love from this unexpected crowd prepared her to receive the healing and also to accept the true God. Yes, the Bible says, you are the light of the world, a light that shines, that they may see your good deeds and glorify the Father in heaven. Yes, God has kept many lights in us and one such light is love. And it is our duty and it is our responsibility to ensure that our lights shine bright, that our Father in heaven is glorified. Do you know, light is the only way to chase away darkness? In our lives, we come across darkness in many ways and in many forms. As sickness, as pain, as anger and disappointment. Even in our lives, we come across situations like that. I come from a rural background and went to study in a compassion-sponsored boarding home. Many of my college mates, many of my classmates, many of my village mates and many of my relatives got education only because of Compassion Project. Few years back, when we heard the news that Compassion International is closing all their operations in India because of some policies and because of some reasons, it totally created kind of an unknown anger. Why is this happening? What will happen, this, the, what will happen to all these 145,000 children who have been sponsored and even we started hearing news that these children started going back to begging and prostitution and so on. It created a lot of anger in us. After my education, when I moved to Chennai for work, I got a chance to look at some of the elite schools in Chennai. And I was really surprised by the kind of opportunities and exposure the children in the city got. And we could literally see the kind of disparity between these children from rural like me and the kind of 
opportunities and infrastructure these children have. Knowing that created a lot of disappointment in us. Why these children from rural community, they also have talents. They also have every ability and skills to achieve in their life, but they're not getting exposure. Knowing that was a... Definitely, we, we were disappointed by that. Two years back, we were getting ready for one of our flagship event past midnight. I got a call from my mom stating she's feeling difficulty in her body and wanted me to come immediately. It took, for an hour, it took about an hour for me to reach there. When I reached there, still she had the difficulty. And that I tried calling ambulances, ambulance company and different hospitals to get an ambulance. The ambulance came only after an hour. That also came without a life support. Some of the best hospitals in the city were just a few minutes away from our house. When we reached the hospital, the doctor said she was brought dead. It created a lot of pain. Could not take it at all. It was a lot of pain. The anger that was created because of knowing the closure of Compassion Projects made me and my friends started thinking about what can we do about it. And we did various things. Finally, we were able to identify 60 children who were stopped their education because of this project, uh, the closure. Then we started sponsoring them. Then our project, Seeds of Love, was born. And all these 60 children are sponsored for the last three years. The disappointment created by the disparity between the rural and urban children's life made us come up with several projects for government school children in across the state of Tamil Nadu. One of our flagship events is Puratchalar Urdhigal, where we go to every district. There are 67 educational districts. We go there and identify these talented children, not just in education, in sports, in innovation, in science, in literature, and so on. We identify them, we award them, with an award called Puratchalar Urudhigal. We celebrate them. Also, we mentor them for one year so that they can get the exposure that they wanted. Now, many of our students are celebrities. They fly around the world. They are in the news more than us. <laughs> the pain of my mom's departure gave birth to Esther Memorial Clinic, which is located in about 100 kilometers from here, treating about 20 fishing hamlets. So far, we've treated 1,700 patients and we'll be celebrating our second year in a few days. The amazing thing is, God has given us the power to change the darkness into light. Many times, we don't realize that. Sometimes, we try to respond darkness with darkness, taking a flag, and no doing this, and no grouping, and doing this and that. No, 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 no. We are not called for that. God has called us to change the darkness situation into light. That is why God says, we are the light of this world. My beloved husband works as a vice president HR for Easy Group Data Soft, and I work as a group HR manager for Rua Tech Solutions. And we are parents of a highly energetic two and a half year old daughter, Nerthi Esther Daniel. Besides a professional career, we lead a volunteer-run NGO called You Are Loved that works towards empowering communities through education, in enlightenment, and employment. Our focus groups are government school children, deprived women, and the transgender community. We have 14 plus projects under our banner, and so far in the past five plus years, we have delivered over five lakhs hours of services and touching thousands of lives. Some of our projects are Nero Day, which is uh, happening in a, a village called as Elispeta E Road. It is a rural development initiative where we encourage and motivate young children, and, uh, farmers, women and uh, young people to just come out of their poverty mindset and thrive with their enlightened mind. And, Another one is Penmai and the Perumai, where we uh, celebrate womanhood, wherein we bring uh, deprived women, the transgender community people, and also women achievers. We just bring them together under a roof 
and we make them interact with each other, that they hear the women achievers, what they did and how they came out of uh, their darkness and how they shined with what they have. So that encouraged them in a greater extent. And we have an initiative called uh, Stitches, which is a community tailoring school. Uh, we bring in uh, people from those uh, communities uh, who are mostly single parents or uh, just having alcoholic husbands. They all come together and we tutor them with tailoring. And these women uh, learn them and do them do business or set up their own organizations so that they can earn some extra money to just support their families. And so far we have uh, tutored almost 100 plus women from those communities. And uh, we also have a very recent initiative which is Loveathon, where we intentionally walk on the streets looking for needy people. We show love to them, we spend time with them, we provide for them, and we actually develop a very personal relationship with them and also provide solutions for their problems. So, out of these initiatives, we have literally seen hundreds and thousands of lives being touched and changed. And that is only through the power of love. When we hear about people doing this and that, we also wanted to do many times. But we always find reasons not to do it, right? We think, oh, I don't have the time to do it, or I don't have the money to do it, or I don't have the resources or people to support me in making me achieve these things. Of doing all these things we can tell you, all these initiatives we can tell you, whenever God gives you a purpose, He will always provide. I repeat, whenever God gives you a purpose, He will always provide. Don't you think there is a purpose for you to be in the place that you're working in? Many times, we heard about from John Uncle and uh, that, you know, we need to have this big purpose, like big picture of the nation and so on. And sometimes, what we don't realize is, these big purposes are only made possible with making these small, small purposes possible. Have you ever asked in the morning to God, Lord, what is my purpose for me in my workplace today? Have you ever asked, Lord, why have you put me here in this community to live in? What is the purpose? In what way can I make the difference? Have you ever asked, Lord, why you made me walk in the street? Why you made me travel in this metro or in this bus? What is the purpose? Many times, we see some people who need help. We see some people who really looks like they need some support. We wanted to do it, but we never do it. Because we don't realize there's this tiny purposes that God is putting us, but they're kept there for us to fulfill. Several years back, when we were walking in the streets of Kodungayur in North Chennai, we've been we've told that there is this couple who is suffering in the roadside hut. It was like six by ten kind of a hut. Mrs. Anjali and Mr. Nadrajan, they were living in that house. We tried entering the house. We could not even enter. It was stinking. And we went inside and saw it was a horrible situation. Mrs. Anjali, she was 100% blind. Only Mr. Nadrajan was doing daily wages, earning, also cooking for the wife, and also taking care of the wife. He was a good husband. But suddenly, few months back, he became paralyzed. He cannot move. So they cannot even address to their daily duties, morning duties, where everything was mess. It was like a horrible situation. We asked them, can we put you in some home? Can you, are you willing to go? Because most of the time when we ask, they're not willing. They said yes. Then we found a place, we did all the medical tests, admitted them. Felt so happy. After six months, this home called me and said, Mr. Nadrajan wanted to talk to you. I went there. As I entered, with all the treatment and care in the home, Mr. Nadarajan was able to walk with some help. With a broad smile, he welcomed me. And I was so happy. I was very curious to know why he wanted to meet me. I asked, why is that you wanted to meet me? He said, do you, do you remember the day that you came and rescued us? It was an afternoon. I said, very much I remember. That day morning, myself and my wife, we decided that we will kill ourselves that evening but you came and rescued us in the afternoon. Hearing that, 
it made me realize it is not only we trust in god god also trust in us in a situation to rescue people in a situation to treat people in a situation to save people if you don't realize that god may do it through other way, other other people or other ways but we will lose our chance we will lose our chance i can tell you i have wasted many of such moments i'm sure you also wasted many of or not realized many of those moments will you take every day a few minutes asking god lord what is the purpose for me today can i make some difference in some people's life i tell you it is very addictive when you start seeing that smile in people's life when you start once you start seeing people's life change you cannot simply you know sit down when 2015 you know floods came now we were doing all this project and so on and all the work rehabilitation all the works were over and on saturday this boy calls me and said anna are we doing anything this week i said no da everything is done he said oh really oh and i said okay okay he kept the phone then only i realized he was addicted to service like people get addicted to many things he was addicted to service he don't know what to do on a saturday without doing because last many saturdays he was doing that don't you think that's a good addiction to have please get addicted to it we are definitely addicted to it and now wanted to see what can we do on a day to day basis the important thing here is to know is are we available for god are we available for god to make difference in somebody's life to hear god can you can you imagine that your one word can change people's life have you ever come across situations like that i've come across situations like that you will not say anything even you would not have said anything you would have just smiled god's love can change that is the power of love as preeti said god has given that power to all of us can we give a round of applause to god <laughs> if only we realize that power that god has given us we will not be the same again the other big purpose that we found was working as a couple i tell you this is not easy as i waited for preet to walk in it was a long wait for me because i always run making preet walk in the front and now going like this was tough but the amazing thing is when we know that we cannot really work it together only god can do it it became simple just submit to him or this is not cup of tea she doesn't drink tea at all then what will i do <laughs> huh? and uh, it is not possible but god can make it possible it is amazing at this time we wanted to thank our mentors anan and akka wilfi anan and akka for no investing in our lives in how to see the greatness of purpose together the purpose that god has kept for you as as a couple together cannot be achieved alone for some time it might look that one person is dragging the other or you are slow down but i tell you on a longer run you will never be able to achieve alone so we request you as a couple to take few minutes in the evening before you sleep to ask god lord what is that purpose that you have kept as a couple i know i have a purpose you know you have a purpose but what is that common purpose can we do it i tell you if we want to really see the transformation in a micro macro scale like in nation and in united nations and in the world should start in the family first do you agree that is how we change nations hallelujah again william carey comes here one of the lives that always speaks expect great things from god attempt great things for god we always expect great things lord this that and this and so on are we attempting to do great things for god are we attempting to to do great things for god enough is enough let us try today you'll be hearing 11 people after hearing you'll be like wow superman you'll feel start doing something this evening if you leave alone today bus everything will go <laughs> right that's what zig ziglar says motivation fades away okay so do something today of all that you heard even one that is enough start doing today do two tomorrow three tomorrow come together as family pull all your friends together that is what we realized whenever god gave some purpose he always fulfilled we have a so can i have a request can i ask you to keep your right hand on your chest 
and repeat after me. Close your eyes and say, Lord, thank you for keeping your power of love in us. Help us to use this love daily, every moment and every minute. We submit ourselves to do that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There is a small song. It's a Sunday school song. Sometimes it's good to remember our Sunday school songs. We request that you will also sing with it. And also, when if sometimes you felt that you're not able to do something and you need some help, please reach back to us. We'll be happy to work along with you for the nation. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel and Preeti. May God bless you. Thank you. Seems like you don't fight at all. At least on the stage, I've not seen you fighting for time. Please come home. That was wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. I request Pravish and um, Rebecca to come up. Another wonderful couple. Wow. Quite uh, romantic in holding hands and pulling. <laughs> and uh, they will come and felicitate. Uh, Preeti and Daniel, please. Yes. Thank you for your prayers. And what does the memento say, Pravish? Yeah. Coupled, Coupled with Christ. With Christ. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. Coupled with Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Pravish.